Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. And if you know anyone who would like to see my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So today, I have the October Lit Joy Crate. I'm super excited to open this up for you guys. Uh, Lit Joy Crate uh, is an amazing book box company and uh, it is a subscription box that you can get. And um, I am not an affiliate for them. Uh, this is not a paid whatever. I purchased these boxes with my own money um, because I absolutely love this book box so much. And I... Yeah, just want to share with you guys all the exciting, fun things that you can get in these boxes. All right, so this is what it looks like. Try not to drop anything when you open the box. All right, so the, um, let's see here. Let's pull this out. And it is Ancient Alchemy is the um, theme for the box. Let's get into this. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay, so I am pulling out this little box. Let's see what is in here. Ooh, oh, yay! I love these type of bottles. So, it... Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. That right there is the Clockwork Angel from Cassandra Clare's books. And I love that it's got like a little cork top on here. I love these little jars. You can do almost anything with them. Um, let's, so this is the Clockwork Angel glass bottle. Strange magic, supernatural folk, and deadly secrets. What better fandom than Clockwork Angel could, be, uh, could we choose to adorn this lovely glass bottle for storing all your alchemical needs. Yay! And next is this cute bag. Let's see what's in here. Ooh! Okay, so my sense of smell is not working right now. I can barely, barely smell this, but it says Philosopher's Stone. So that is a Harry Potter reference right there. And it looks like a soap bar. Okay, so it says, Philosopher's Stone Soap. I held the stone out my palm. It A thrill traveled up my arm through my body, waking every part as it went. The stone was dark red now, the light in it smoldering. So there's little flecks of like gold, <coughs> excuse me, in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and it says, we can't promise that this philosopher's stone soap will grant you external life as the real stone did for Nicholas Flamel of the alchemists, uh, but perhaps it will inspire some magic in your own life. Thea's pursuit of the philosopher, oh, Thea's pursuit of the philosopher's stones led her through Europe to, into danger and adventure, and she even found some romance. And maybe the stone will lead you to similar excitement. Huh. So it's saying the alchemist, but uh, this is also makes me think of like Harry Potter's um, The Stone. Litjoy Crate just had their anniversary or their birthday or whatnot. And I got one of these because I'm a lunicorn. It is a separate uh, thing that you can do. Um, that you get special deals and you get uh, basically early access to certain boxes and things. Um, so anyway, I got this. It says we're serious about books and it is Welcome to the Lunicorns, the 2020 Lit Joy Crate, uh, or 20, through 2020 through 2021 Lit Joy Crate, Quibbler, Mystery reveal, Revealed, Discover the Truth About the Remarkable Lunicorns, Fantastic Lunicorns, and Where to Find Them. So that is their little pin that they came out with for their anniversary. And because I got it, they put it in my box. So I'm super excited about that. Next, ooh, this <laughs> is a really cute box. Um... So let's see what is in here. Oh, this is a trinket dish. 
and it's got all sorts of little alchem whatever alchemy signs in it and then on the back it just says lit joy crate so it says his dark materials altheo meter trinket dish the philosopher's stone offered endless wealth per of perfect health and immortality and we dare to uh and we dared to seek it didn't that mean we wanted to become gods this quest oh thea's quest for the stone promised wealth health and immortality we can only imagine that she would have been thrilled to also get her hands on the Alth altheometer of his dark materials fame uh did you did you know the needle of the altimeter was formed through an alchemy of rare metals to point toward truth? With artwork by the talented at Karen Leopold, this trinket dish features your own altimeter and is extremely useful. Made from ceramic, the dish is white with a gold rim and is 10 centimeters in diameter. So that's really cute. Yeah, let us see what is this what is this this looks to be a scarf that is super super cute so that is a scarf yes and it is just wears it like that and it says uh, to most scholars in the uh, academies and societies, we were counterfeiters, charlatans, or fools. Many scientists took the co took the continued existence of alchemy as an as an offense against their discipline. For all those, let's see here. For all who have dreamed of solving alchem alchemical mysteries like Thea in a Golden Fury, and desired getting their hands on Ashmole. Uh, 782, like Diana, in A Discovery of Witches, the scarf may scratch the alchemical itch. With patterns and designs taken from real alchemical manuscripts that are hundreds of years old, the scarf is useful, a useful accessory and a bit of history. It's made from a jersey material and is sewn into an, an infinity scarf. It measures 25 by 170 centimeters. This is really cute and it's really lightweight. It's not some, it's, it's super soft. So um, it's quite comfortable to wear. I like it. Right. Now we are getting to the book. It is the <clears throat> Golden Fury. And this is by Samantha Co. Um, it says, is it science or magic, power or possession? And I don't know anything about this book. I haven't um, read up on it, but ooh, let's let's take a look at all of this cool stuff. Okay, so um, so it says cave maledictonium alchemiste. Um, so that's what it says on the front. It's like puncture or pressed in there and so this is the beautiful beautiful inside of the dust jacket design I really really like that I really like that this is the inside page I really this book is gorgeous and then it's signed by the author okay so this says a golden fury the hope was always longed to be an accomplished alchemist, but when her mother and fellow alchemist destroys their most significant work, the legendary philosopher's stone, Thea is devastated and confused. While combing through their mother's notes, Thea learns that there's a curse on the stone that causes anyone who tries to make it to lose, oh, to make it to lose their sanity. With the threat of the French Revolution looming, Thea is, is sent to Oxford for her safety to live with her father who doesn't know she exists. But in Oxford, there are alchemists after the stone who don't believe Thea's warning about the curse. Instead, they'll stop at nothing to steal Thea's knowledge of how to create the stone. But Thea can only run for so long and soon she'll have to choose, create the stone and sacrifice her sanity or let the people she loves die. 
In her debut novel, Samantha Cole weaves a story of magic and danger where the streets of Oxford and London come to life and the curse of the Philosopher's Stone will haunt you long after the final page. That sounds really, really good. I'm excited to read that one. Oh, and then we have, there's a bookmark in here. That is the front side and that is the back. Nikolai and Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, so it's Nikolai, Jekyll and Hyde, Wood Mark. So I turned back to my mother and she lifted her head. I backed up at the look in her eyes and held the tongs in front of me in both hands. Mother, my voice shook. A sound came out of her mouth, a growl. It wasn't a human sound, not even an animal one. I looked into her eyes, but I didn't see her there. Then she sprang. In a golden fury, the, the transformation of dedicated alchemists from intelligent, educated, studious people reduced to bloodthirsty lunatics in the blink of an eye is horrifying. This change reminded us of Nikolai as he transformed from his charming human form into the animalistic monster. We enlisted the talented um, artist at Nehru.sky to create a woodmark both useful and stunning that illustrates Nikolai as both man and beast. So there he is as a man, and there he is as a beast. Oh, look at this. It says, Happy Birthday, Lunicorns. And it came with a little birthday balloon. Oops. It says, October is our birthday month. We're celebrating one full year of Lunicorns with a new free membership enamel pin for all Lunicorns. So I showed you the enamel pin. Um, <clears throat> and then it talks about a little bit more about the Lunicorns uh, community. Uh, and all the fun, exciting rewards that you get with joining that. If you're interested in, go to their website at uh, litjoycrate.com backslash lunicorns and you can learn more about it. We have this little photo strip. Oh, apparently there are two photo strips. So this is what they look like, and it's artwork at uh, Sarah Condressen for Lit Joy Crate. So that's what it says on the back. It says, Vampire Diaries photo strip. Imagine the crew of Vampire Diaries being thrown into a photo booth. No doubt a hilarious and uh, photo, oh, potentially hostile predicament. However, we like to imagine Bonnie, Elena, and Caroline decked out for the decades dance and showing off their magical abilities. Damon and Stefan, or sorry, Damon and Stefan would of course be their own, in their own photo strip and driving each other crazy. The artwork for our beautiful photo strip collection is created by independent artist at Sarah Conradison. Um, we chose Sarah be because her artwork perfectly captures the concept of photo strips you will notice the scene coming to life in each strip as she tells a story photo by photo. These photo strips have replaced our trading card collection and can be found in our magical crates, our young adult crates and our classic books st starting October, 2020 characters featured on the cards will match the crate in which they come magical characters and magical subscription crates, YA characters in YA subscription uh, products and classic characters and classical books. So they're doing these instead of the trading cards now. Oh, this is the art print from the inside of the book um, dust jacket. And then on the back side, it has the letter to us from the author. Last but not least, they have the add-ons, which I did not get. It was an Acme eggshells candle, the Acme moth mini backpack, and Cliffs of, Insanity, of Insanity Literary Location Enamel Pin. And so it talks about the October Photo Challenge, which we're already past October now. Um, and then the November theme is Star-Crossed Lovers. And this is the beautiful art that they did for it. That is all of the box or unboxing for the uh, October Lit Joy Crate box. Thank you so much for joining me here. I absolutely love doing these videos for you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then go ahead and hit that bell icon. So anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. And if you know anyone who would like to watch my videos, go ahead and hit that share button and send them my way. Uh, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.